Hello all, and welcome back to Battletech Rogue Tech. I'm of course, game operator and narrator soul. Welcome to the Insomniatic build episode, I think. We're going to be spending a little bit of time here in our mech bay. And obviously we have a couple things coming down the, the pipe here. Uh, we have some repairs coming up. We have the Timberwolf and the Warhawk that are going to be coming off the assembly line that need to be rebuilt or have some... Uh, unfortunate pieces reassembled to them as well we have our gauzilla we're probably going to put together and we're going to sit down and have a look at this mad cat mark 2 a that we picked up in the last episode and see if it's even worth maybe building maybe maybe not as well as move through our storage and probably assemble a couple other things maybe turn around and sell them out get some extra cash if needed and then we'll see what we got for missions. As well as what's available in the store. Actually, we should probably do that right now. Final week of the store. Anything new? Anything exciting? Uh, bolt on rockets. Very nice. Fours. UAV compartments. Nothing really new. How about Davian? Bunch of battle armor. Uh... Phoenix Hawk Lamb for 2.6. I'm not going to say no just yet because, well, let's face it. Might be something we might have to think about when it comes down to these rescue missions. We've been unfortunately tagged with a fair bit. What does this come with? The standard lamb engine. Medium laser, some bomb infernos. And we could probably trick that out pretty good. Hmm. It'd be a different step for sure. Again, I've never been much of a fan for lambs, but uh, you can certainly tell that in this version of Rogue Tech, they certainly have their place. Let's worry about the current things that we're going to be building with today first, and then we'll worry about everything else that's going to just be nice to have. All right, let's lean into our Godzilla. Uh, right off the bat, what are we looking for? I need our endo. So let's get that in place. And we're probably going to want to do something similar to what we did with the other one, which was fielding a stealth field. Obviously, we're going to slide in some uh, warfare suite in order for this to work. Uh, three sensor check penalty, harder to hit by two, a medium to a long range, and three an extreme range. Very similar stealth unit. Now, uh, the weapon itself, let's get our Gausses installed. And base ammunition for the Gauss. We're running low on double bins. It is indeed a thing. Plenty of eight uh, our single bins, though. That would be, what is that, 28, 36, 24. We got our 10, and a little bit extra just in case. There, advanced optics slotted in. And, hmm, flares? Might as well. As far as the FCS goes. Where is our Gauss? So we got Gauss damage, which gives us plus one accuracy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or we have our Gauss sniper, which gives us plus three accuracy. And to be honest, I think uh, our accuracy is probably going to be the biggest thing. Once we get to our 40 affinity, it gives us that extra 100% crit damage. Uh, we want to be hitting every single bloody time. Every single time. 
far as the cockpits go, give ourselves some gunnery support. Hmm. Tactics or more gunnery? If I had an EI system, that'd be great, but I don't. And the DNI takes over the FCS slot, so that's not going to work. Additionally, if I had another slick suite, that'd be probably not too bad if we could start fielding three or four slick suites onto the field at a time. Is our guardian. I'd like to have a light probe as well. Ideally. What is this? This is 1.5. This is 3. We, have a, we do have an AR-12 sheath beacon. Which would probably be not too bad on this machine. I'm willing to bet we're going to be pretty tight when it comes down to slots. Now, as far as our core goes, let's try 300. This is a 1.107.75. Excuse me. Didn't be coming down with a little bit of a cold, which is even better. What a wonderful way to start off the, the week. Oh, man. One thing after another. All right, XL Engine, Clan. Yeah, that pretty much eats up all of our slots, doesn't it? This is a 98.25. I won't lie. There is a little bit of a plan of mine. Kind of increase the accuracy just a hair. On at least the arm units. That's getting more upper recoil plus ones. These ones are about a ton apiece. That'd be all right. Just for the added accuracy. Again, these are pinpoint weapon systems. We want accuracy. Because they only fire once around. No scatter, no nothing. It's either they hit or they don't. Uh, sitting at 6.5 mil at the moment. Uh, with 300 core, this gives us... 3 walk, 4 run. What does a smaller core get us? 280? 280, I believe, is what we have on the other one. Uh, two and four. Okay, so let's run 300 for now. That'll leave us with a flat two. Got two tons to play with. Now, as far as ooh, cooling systems go, we better get something in here. And we have got plenty of uh, clan kits. So that's overcooling by a fair bit, but at the same time, I'd rather be supremely cold than just barely getting by and we land on a hot planet and screw myself over. Uh, gyros. Well, what do we got? Defensive gyro? I'll fit nicely in there. And then we got two more tons for our recoils. Well, one more ton when we get it. Now, as far as Gauss goes, is there anything here with actual recoil? Uh, 
Uh, this one here has increased accuracy, but that's like three tons of pop more. Ugh. Give me that one. Twelve ton silver bullets. No recoil. Two tons heavier. I think of course we have our hyper assaults. I mean we could get some twenties in. Oh, 30s. Now, 30s would not work unless we were to pull the upper recoils. Hmm. What ammo do we have for our hypers? We have six bins, 12 rounds apiece. No, I think we're going to run with this build. She moves a little faster. She's going to hit a lot harder. Or at least hit more accurately. And then we can go ahead and change things up with our C2 unit. Get some fancy things on there, I think. For now, we're going to validate this. 6.5 million in the bank. That is correct. She's got one ton left for spare. I'll get it in the schedule. Now, the big question is, is it worth... Fixing up this Madcap Mark II A for anything. Uh, right now, repair bills are going to look at six hundred and sixty-five thousand alone before we even arm it up. Then it's seven hundred. This is a ninety-ton mech, but what can we use it for? We don't really have a whole lot of ballistic hard points, but she does have energy. One of those things that maybe large lasers ER larges clans eh kind of make it an energy sniper with the other M15s Two twenty alone. Slide in some LRM fifteens. It brings up three seventy for long range damage. Hmm. Heat efficiency is lagging. That probably did nothing to it. Nope. Okay, we still need our fusion core, that's why. Get a 300 in here. Still 150 heat. That's 74 out of 90 tons. And we need ammunition still. Hasn't even moved it. <laughs> hmm. What would be a better use for this madcap? If anything at all. We could use more backline support, that's for sure.
We have our laser integrated AMS system, which actually slots into the armor slide. So that's important to know. I don't know if I talked about that from uh, the episode where we actually picked it up. Integrated laser AMS system takes over the armor slot and does take over a spot in the center torso. Um, and that's about it. And then she never runs out, but uh, yeah. She is kind of kind of a pain to feel. So it'll be better. Wonder we got what's the minimum? No minimum here. If we were to go say get rid of two of our large lasers. Maybe even pulses. That's significantly less heat. Even if they do weigh just a hair more. Only one less damage for like uh, 18 less heat. Nice if we had one more of these. God, that'd actually be really nice if we had one more of these. <laughs> and a little wonky. What's this large pulse laser regular have? Eh, nothing really. But this would be like a cluster pilot's dream machine. Do the missiles and the pulses. Still have 52 heat. And this is where an XL clan comes in. Give us 11.5 or a little bit under 11.5 tons to play with. 11.375 tons. Most of that's probably going to be cooling. <laughs> no lie. No lie. Three and five. Again, this is going to be a long range unit. We find one more pulse, we could swap this out and save a ton. Ten more heat is what it is. Gonna pad this out a little bit. Almost cool. Almost. Now, of course, the thing we really want would be advanced optics at minimum Mark II. We don't have that yet. And I didn't put a slave unit on the Godzilla, did I? Well, we're going to have to correct that one. Uh, we're going to need LRMs. We're going to need a whole lot of ammo.
It'd be really nice if we can get some double bins. Yeah. If we can get our hands on some double bins for clan, that'd be great. We need at least three bins to make this work. Mm. Uh, granted, again, she does have a perk too. Uh, or an affinity to where it does reduce heat. If we slide a cool shot in, we're good, right? Yeah. But again, if we get more like, uh, uh exchangers or heat banks, that would obviously be an option we could use. As far as everything else goes, that's not bad. Aside from the fact that we're going to be stripping some armor. But, again, she's going to be long range, so I'm not going to be shedding a tear over this one. D and I, would that be good? Probably. It wasn't for the fact that she costs a lot of weight. And we still need to put a slave unit in. Hmm. Where's our slaves? There we are. So if I pull the DNI, we're still we still got uh, a bunch of clan cockpit here, so that's not too bad. We are, however, 0. 0.63 over, 0. 0.625. We got for patchwork, just tier one. Maybe something like that. I don't know how good of a build that would be. Like I said, I think for a cluster pilot, this would be great. Increased accuracy from the pulses. All at range, 840 meters. LRM 15 clan support. That would be about all she's got. And of course a gyro. And we could probably slide things that were right out of space. Be a straight defense gyro. That would be the kitty. For six million, 30 days. So it's certainly not going to be something that's going to happen right now, obviously. It's uh, it's just not. We can't afford it. Especially with the end of the month coming up here in seven days. Plus, we still got another uh, route for the, st for the store to have a look at. So, you know how that one goes. But for your consideration, something to have a look at. Give me some feedback on what, uh, what you think about this one. Maybe some build ideas. We'll go from there. Again, this is going to be a future thing. Is it even worth it? I don't know. We could probably get about... Uh, let's revert everything back. What can we get for scrap? Maybe we get 424,000 out of it if we need to. That's not too bad. 
which is probably going to be exactly what we're going to be doing for all the all the other mechs we're going to be building here. Uh, A7, AS7K, the MCA. Yeah, nothing really fancy here. Get this atlas built and have a look at it. Probably just turn around and scrap it. Yeah. That's 714,000. I'm going to turn around and scrap you, sir. See what you give us. 358,000? We'll scrap that. What else can we build? A whole bunch of demolishers and devastators. Actually, let's build this. Get some vehicles back on the board as well. Heavy carrier. That mech you wanted is back online. Uh, what else we got? We got a uh, Ryokin 2. Let's ready this up. Ah, yikes. 404,000 for one part? What the heck? I don't think that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it at all. We're not doing that. Wow. Dance. Alright, let's look by our vehicle bay here. What do we have? We have our heavy carrier. Heavy Thunderbolt missile tens. Look at this. Ooh, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six Thunderbolt tens. And everybody says I don't do anything nice. Devastator itself. What do we got? Two light AC-20s. Bunch of small lasers. And streaks. It's fancy. It's fancy. This heavy carrier. Mm. That's, uh, that's a lot of thunderbolts. We may have to get somebody trained up on this one. So we always sat there when you know it's not worth it on a mech because it just takes up too much space. Well, now we got a vehicle with six of them. Eighty top. All right, everything said and done. I think that's pretty much it for build phase. Let's swing by the command center and see what we got for missions. Uh, we do have Operation Arthur here, which is a blackout in the Highlands. For 4 to 19 salvage, 4.5 skull. Which I think might actually be kind of interesting, seeing that we're going to have all of the bonuses of being aligned with Davian, though. No? Let's go ahead and negotiate this one for Mech Salvage. And see what we get. This is going to be against the planetary government. Um, four and a half skull, let's rock it. As far as everybody else goes, we got some mechs that are... Uh, that are sitting this one out. So let's go ahead and clear this line. In the mirror, Salamander. Wolf is still out. 
We got our summoner. Jag. We want to start working on that heavy on that heavy carrier? I mean why not? Happy's gotta do something. Might as well get skilled up in a heavy carrier. Bubbles. Slippy. Get Ren out here as well. And Bren. This says we're under. But we don't have the tonnage for really anything else. Could swap the summoner for a demolisher. Not really worth it. That's really what we got. Let's see everybody planet side. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright, let's get in here and see what we got. Mountain base mission. Gotcha. Let's do this. Now, of course, the outside of the vehicle is she's not slave unit, so is what it is. We'll go ahead and check out the base first and see what we got. Anything horrifying? Wow, you are slow. Location confirmed. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. Not really designed for a heavier lance, I guess, but or for a faster lance. That's the correct word for it. But then again, too, she's a thunderbolt carrier. She sits in the back line. Meantime, let's get our salamander and our jag into position with summoner supports. Anything on the base? Something I can do. Moving to position. Uh, let's get Sren down here. Well, nothing on sensors. All right. Up to the generators we go. It's gonna be way up here. Way up here. No. And I sent you up the wrong hill. Position confirmed. Well, that's good. You know what? I will put the Thunderbolt carrier up here. And I will put the Ymir right here, because we know exactly where everyone's going to drop. It'll be right down here just to ruin my day. Aye, aye. We'll put them in a position where they're going to be the most effective for wild wide angle coverage. And with the Salamander being more of a brawler than a long-range support, I think it'd be fine. He's just got to learn to run fast, that's all. Everybody's running up your craw here real quick, man. Brace, brace, brace. I'm actually tempted to put Slippy just right around here. Maybe the same for Ren and just send the Jag up. Except this would be the, like the one time where they bust out of the buildings and just wreck our face. Yeah. Better send the support up with, uh, with Bryn. Or he'll punch out again. Make me look like a fool. Which is actually pretty easy to do nowadays. Sadly enough. Position confirmed. 
What do we got? We got contacts and we got a friendly base. Very nice. Orion, SRM carrier, and Marauder. Stop blowing up my things! A lot of SRM sixes. Orion, not too much of a worry. Yes, Commander. Do a side shot, don't I? Side shot of who? Ryan. SRM carrier, that accuracy is too terrible. Light AC5. What's the jackalope got? ATM6 clans. So he's the one with the clan stuff. He's got a laser AMS clan system. Where is it? Center torso? Oh. Right in the head, so we don't want to headshot him. Good to know. Good to know. What about you? Anything cool or interesting in you? Probably not. Artemis case. Ghost ammunition. Might be about it. All right, well, we'll take our shots. Inferno, oh, heat the Orion. Oh, he's hot. Ready for orders. Flippy, you got a rear strike on somebody. You got a rear strike on two people. It looks like one of them's the SRM carrier. Let's get rid of this guy. Mainly because if we run into him in any capacity, he's gonna hurt us real bad. Tango down. Bubbles. Get our EI turned on. Oh, we got a backstrike on the jackalope. We better take it. Good angle. Fire See what that laser AMS can do. Can't do enough to save you. And we'll stay indirect. I'm receiving you. Uh, back strike. Oh, it looks like the Orion. Good strike on the Marauder too. I'm there. Is this the Orion is hot? Let's see if we can get this Marauder. Two hard hits. Happy. Again, let's go to the Marauder. We've got Standard, Faint, Guided. Ooh. High Explosive? It's 20 damage. Kinetic. Thermo. And standard. That's 52 damage. Guided's a little bit less. Acknowledge. Ooh, that looks like it hurt a fair bit, actually. <laughs> and just in time for the turrets to do work. If they're doing work at all. Heading out. Hey, you're still hot, so I'm not worried about you. Marauder! Uh, core is open, but we've got a back strike. On it. Let's go. Let's go. I think it was that ammo. Oof. And shut down on the Orion. And destroy... <laughs> And destruction, and his life is terrible. Temper. 
And that's the end of him. Target down. Mission successful. That was pretty quick. I don't know about that one. Hmm. Well, let's see what's on the loot board. I know the laser AMS system is there, and we do need more of those. We kind of want to transfer away from the ammo-based AMS systems. Just because we're uh, finding ourselves in a whole lot of situations where ammunition runs dry after a bit. Quick turnaround. <laughs> no damage. Yeah. And sensors, Gauss ammunition, laser AMS. Are you even picking? Worth picking? Oh, wow. You're pretty much in... This says you're in, in one piece, but we know you're not. Like, this would be good for a quick turnaround and maybe sell. That's about it. Is there anything else really worth grabbing here, though? Obviously, there's this. We have plenty of regular bins of Gauss ammunition. If this was a large pulse laser, I'd be super interested. Could build an SRM carrier. Nine SRM sixes on them. That's a lot of SRM sixes. Like a lot, a lot of a lot. What's your armor value? No armor. <laughs> okay, good to know. That is a death trap for pilots. Say we grab this guy. That leaves us with a couple more picks. Just because we'll grab that. We have our missile accuracy, which probably is not a bad idea. Plus two accuracy with direct fire missile attacks. Can't be used with Artemis, though, or Apollo. Really? Well, now we're looking at money picks. Maybe, potentially. No Orion parts, no jackalopes. We didn't kill him so hard, we might have had a chance of actually maybe getting some parts of him. But we didn't. Value wise, I think the stack of nine SRMs is going to be the best way to go. That's almost 800,000. Yeah, I'll grab these just to sell them. Alright, what's our random pick say? We got the jackalope part anyways. SRMs, that's 100,000 in our pocket. Let's carry on. And as far as the SRM carrier goes, with that light of armor... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a tomb. Just a tomb for the way I drive, so. <laughs> she is very nice, though. Nine SRMs. Nine SRM sixes. Almost 600 damage. 540 damage.
All right, let's check out the mech bay and see what we got for our Marauder. See, that's that's what it was. I don't know why it wasn't showing it properly, but that's what it looks like. That's the level of damage we're dealing with. No core, no nothing. It is a command mech, so that's nice. A breaching comm suite sensor sniper, TSM. That's a repair bill. Three hundred twenty-five. Next to nothing to really show for it. And what's your scrap value? Well, that is unfortunate. She is a ballistic variant. Six ballistic hard points and four energy. Would this be a run replacement for the wolf? Just to play a little bit. Just to play a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, just a whole bunch of Ultra 5s in here. Well, the heat be heat's actually not bad. Heat's not bad. We can turn this into a devastating little mean machine. If we were to sink some money into it. Do we even do this without? Could this be a thing without a uh, clan engine? Good God. It almost hits as hard as what the, uh, the Mad Cat Mark II does. Ammunition would be a thing. We got for double bins. Get your jump jets out of here. That would require both double bins. Uh, and a core. Course of core. And that's where the problem comes in. Yep. Now we could also pull the PPCs. Lights. Yeah, those are three tons a piece. That's kind of a joke. 
Kind of a joke build. We're not spending four million on a seventy-five tonner. Uh, times a seventy-five tonner. So you know, it, it all depends. What else can we do with this one? If I had kept that rack FCS from many, many episodes ago. We could have filled her up with AC2s. Try this. LBX AC twos. Long range, right? Yes, they are. Wildly heat efficient. Only a hundred damage long range, though. That should be allowing us to our sixty one twenty. Maybe and then back into the heat issues again. a bunch of snubs that'd be a different story seven tons Sarah smasher what are you 30 and 10 Let's get a kit installed here. Minus 14. Good. You get some more light PPCs. Two twenty for long range. This is where, um, these are four tons. This is where having one more AC2 would be good. Was one additional ton for 50 damage. That brings our long range up to 270, almost 300. If I had one more, it'd be over 300. And then that'd be kind of sketch. <laughs> long range sniper marauder. Yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. Oh, well, here's what it is. We're going to hold on to that one for a hot second. Again, just like before, let me know what you think in the comments below. Probably not going to be too much of a, uh, of a thing going on with uh, the Marauder, but certainly interested in what you guys think about the Mad Cat, too. If you have any opinions on the Marauder as well, let me know, and we'll go from there. In the meantime, that's pretty much all the time we got for the episode today. Uh, we're actually going to hit... Two days just to get everybody out of fatigue. Because we didn't take any damage on that previous mission. Let's swing by the store and see if anything new has popped up. Just to see if it really screws with us. Nothing in the regular store. How about... Mm. 
No, nope, nothing really new here either. Now. Phoenix Hawk. This will put us behind the eight ball for money. But maybe we should have one in spare just in case. I'd really rather not buy one. I'd rather build it. To be honest. Two point six, almost two point seven million. Right at the end of the month, we can't do it. So we do the next mission. We screw up one little bit. It'll cost us. So if we want a lamb. We're just gonna have to build it ourselves. There we go. If you liked the episode, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to support the channel at all, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and drop a comment on down below. In the meantime, uh, stay safe, and I will see you in the next episode.